traveling with Turner syndrome so I love to travel you guys have seen we've had really fun trips we've done like to Disneyland and Universal and on the East Coast we've gotten to go to Washington DC and Boston and just see some really cool fun places and I also have gone camping every summer for at least a week if not two weeks and it's been really fun to go all of those different places and experience everything and I thought I'd talk about and share a little bit about how I feel like you have to approach travel or travel can be affected by having Turner syndrome. The biggest thing that I always have to make sure of anytime we go somewhere is that I remember to pack my medicine and supplements and that I also remember to pack everything I need for things that might come up like digestive support and things like that and trying to look at before I leave if I have enough supply of all of it and things like that. So that's the biggest thing is remembering to pack the things that you need for all of those things that we get to enjoy with Turner Syndrome and making sure you have all of those supplies with you. And the other aspect of it is the place that you're going and how all of those things might be impacted or affect your experience going there. Like, is there enough of a variety of food that you're going to be able to find something to eat if you have food restrictions and do you need to bring anything with you to help any of that each place you might go is going to be different but is there something within that that's going to be affected or difficult for you and how is that specific place going to impact that or potentially affect it the last part about travel that I really wanted to talk about is something that I have not actually implemented yet, but I, I really want to and I feel like it's a really important thing and a really good idea and that's important emergency medical information being on you. So on your phone, on a medical ID bracelet or a necklace some kind of identifying thing that says I have Turner syndrome and these are what I'm at risk for or this is who you contact things like that with all of the health risks and health complications so many of them especially the heart problems can arise without us necessarily knowing or expecting it and there's a lot of things you can do, whether it's printing something off from the Turner Syndrome Society or using an app on your phone to have it available there so that somebody can look at it and know, know who to contact and what might be going on. And that I feel like for safety reasons is really important because then they can know all of that without having to worry about if you yourself are going to be able to tell them. Especially when you're talking about going somewhere where you may not always be with somebody that you know um, and you're in an area you don't know, this can be really, really important. And I had not thought about it until I saw the Turner Syndrome Society post about it that they had 
something you could print out and have on you put in your wallet and things like that so that they had it available. I will try to link it in the description for you so you can go check it out. The thing about traveling is everybody's situation is gonna be different just like with anything else. You're gonna have different medicine and supplements you have to deal with and pack. You're gonna have to maybe bring some medical machines if you have something. Everybody's gonna be dealing with different health issues and that's important to think about you're gonna have your own unique situation that you need to evaluate so take all of that into consideration as you are traveling I even do this when I go visit my family I make sure I have my meds and my supplements and all of the stuff that I need it's just my process now it's very much something I try to keep as a habit. So I hope these points were helpful for you. If you have any other travel tips for Turner Syndrome, leave them in the comments below and I would love to see them. I will link a playlist that has some of my pack with me videos where you can see things that I've packed in the past and how I've had to take into consideration my medicine and my supplements and things like that. So I will see you in those videos.